Flood warnings are forcing the closure of roads, bridges, and parks across Minnesota. Take a look at this. Water rushing over the dam in Coon Rapids. The Mississippi River just below the dam at Highway 610 is at major flood stage. It's measuring about four feet about above flood stage right now. In Delano, the Crow River is also nearly four feet higher than normal right now. Earlier this morning, we saw flooding around a drainage pipe that was pushed out of the ground. It's off Meadow Lane Drive at Barb King Inspiration Park. With a pipe above ground, the water can't drain and it's getting close to nearby homes. The city hasn't looked like this since 2011. It's forced the closing of the main bridge in town along with several other roads. And the water is expected to keep climbing through the weekend. Further south and east, Fort Snelling State Park is closed. This is where the Mississippi and Minnesota rivers come together. It's also an area that is no stranger to spring flooding. Our Caroline Cummings joins us now. Caroline, the DNR has been preparing for this, right? Yeah, they have, Shayla. So uh, around April 9th is when the DNR, which oversees the state's parks, started to see the early signs of flooding. And now they've closed down because they say it's just too dangerous. And you can already see right over the ledge here how much of that water has already washed out. It's coming really close to um, what looks to be a place where uh, cars come through. So Fort Snelling is the most visited of the 75 state parks in Minnesota. So they don't take decisions to close lightly. Four years ago, there was significant and costly damage to the park from major flooding. It closed it for a half a year and they lost $200,000 in revenue. So the DNR hopes this flooding won't be as bad. We're always uh, loath to see it close, especially in spring and summer. So we're very hopeful, though, that this go around um, the damages in, um, to the park from the flooding will be minimal. Um, of course, we won't know until the floodwaters recede and then we do proper assessments. Now, the timing of this closure is unfortunate because tomorrow is one of the days you can get into all of the state's park for free. Of course, no longer Fort Snelling, but the DNR still encourages you to get outside and enjoy Minnesota's great outdoors. If you're worried about if a, a park uh, close to you is closed, they have all of that information posted online. Shayla. All right, important details are Caroline Cummins reporting. Thank you, Caroline.